Hi everyone, it's me again, Moonshine. How are you? We are here on week whatever. I don't know, but this is the fourth week I'm doing this. I hope everyone's okay and safe and healthy. Uh, I'd like to again thank everyone who's been reaching out the past few days. It's really good to hear from you guys. Uh, last week, I got an email from Bien. Hi, Bien. And she told me how the past few videos have been helpful to her and how she's found herself sharing the information on the video um, to the people around her and how she's found that that's also been helpful. Um, for them. But then she wanted, she asked me a few things about um, helping people, okay, like what, what she's supposed to do, what are different things that she can do. So I wanted to make uh, this video today to talk about the few things that we could remember as we try to be there for other people too. So first, um, listening is really the most important thing. Some of us might be feeling lost because we don't really understand what other people are going through. Like, you know, maybe we don't really understand um, problems of work if it's specific to, you know, your uncle or your aunt's or your older sister's work. Uh, or, you know, problems ir about relationships that, and we're like, oh, I don't really know what to say about that. But even if we can't really understand these specific things, we can still listen, okay? Even if we have nothing to say about it, okay? And that might make us feel like we're not helping or we're useless because we're not saying anything about it. We can just remember that, you know, listening has value in itself. We don't have to pretend to understand. We can really just be there and listen and be that space where they can be heard, where they can unload those feelings. We can listen without judgment. We can listen to the feelings because even if we don't understand the specific situations, maybe we understand how they feel because we've felt that way in different situations. So we can be with them as they feel those feelings, even if we don't completely understand, even if we don't solve it for them. Just being there and listening has a value. And for those of us who feel like, oh, I'm just listening, I'm not helping, I'm not doing anything, well, maybe it's good to remind ourselves that, that having somebody listen to us also is, is really part of the process of um, being helped. And it's not a simple part. It's not a thing that can just be taken out of the, the formula. It is an important part. So, yeah, we don't have to beat ourselves down for not being able to understand exactly what's happening to the people around us. So it's okay. Listening is important. Now, another thing okay, that came up is the whole, uh, is it okay that you know, I'm just repeating the things that I'm saying again and again. I'm just telling them the same things. Um, and they're just telling me the same things. So, number two is maybe this is just me reminding you that it's normal to have repeating thoughts and feelings. Um, in this time of anxiety and uncertainty, there are really things that will come up that have no definite answer. Uh, that have no immediate answers in the midst of all this um, change and isolation there could be old patterns that might come up and we might need to unlearn them or there might be new lessons new things we need to learn and adjust to um, because of this okay there might be a tendency for us and for people around us to be talking about the same thing again and again and again because there are new things that we need to learn, old things that we need to unlearn, and things that we have no answer for. And this creates a situation where we can't move forward. It's hard to move forward. So it might leave us feeling stuck, uh, like nothing's happening. Okay. But I just want to remind you that what might be happening is really that what this situation is not simple. This situation is a complex, multifaceted thing. And it may be good to remember that when we learn something new, okay, we don't learn it immediately. Like, for example, at school, 
do we learn a lesson just by hearing it once? No. I don't know about you, but for me, no. Um, we usually go over it several times. We read the text, we listen during lectures, I hope. <laughs> we review it before the, the tests, we join in the discussions, we talk about it. So it is actually normal to go over a thing again and again and again before we can actually understand it. So let's give ourselves and the people around us the same understanding and patience because none of these lessons are easy. And it's okay to repeat uh, the processing of it. Uh, it's okay not to understand it immediately um, or to only understand part by part. It doesn't mean we're stupid. It doesn't mean we're unhelpful if we, the say, we, if we say the same things again and again. And, you know, sometimes there might be also a need for reassurance um, that, oh, I'm going through this process. Oh, I am saying this again because I need to hear that it's okay. Or that, you know, this person is there for me. Sometimes people need reassurance and they need to hear it again and again. And especially in this time, that's okay. If that's what people need. And third, okay, um, connected to the second one, okay, because right now we might be in a state because of the difficulty of the lessons we need to learn or, or the lessons we need to unlearn, uh, we might find ourselves in that cyclical state okay, of not being able to find answers, not being able to solve the problem. So it's good to be patient with ourselves as we go through that. But then this is me also reminding everyone that there is also value in stepping away and taking a break. So when a situation or a conversation has become cyclical and repetitive, sometimes the healthy thing to do is really just to step away from it. And I don't mean to just walk out or give up. Okay, We can hit pause and simply acknowledge and say, you know, hey, it seems like we're getting stuck in this. We're not seeing things clearly anymore. Maybe if we do something else first and then come back to it later, it'll be better. Okay? So this is my reminder that stopping something doesn't mean giving up. It just means taking a pause, taking a breath. Stopping uh, the process of trying to understand or trying to solve it doesn't mean you're unable to help. It just means that this thing just needs to be given a little bit more time, perhaps. We might have this feeling that we need to solve things immediately, that we need to find the answer now. But the truth is that learning lessons and solving problems just doesn't work that way. We don't have to answer the question immediately. We can give it time. Um, so there, uh, just three things, you know? Listening has value in itself, and it's a very important thing in our process of understanding and uh, trying to go through what we're all going through. It's normal to have to repeat things as we learn and process them, and we can take breaks. We don't have to answer immediately. We don't have to solve it immediately. All right. So I hope these three little reminders can become helpful to you as you try to help yourself and as it sounds like many of you are also reaching out and trying to help others um, through this whole thing. And that's it for this week. Um, thank you everyone for being here and for reaching out to me. It really does mean a lot to me. And as usual, I'm here. You can email me. Uh, I can also be there at the forum where with Star Baby and Sunshine. They're there. And of course, you can always tweet or talk to us on Facebook. That's it for this week. Thank you. And I hope you're all safe and healthy. And see you next week.